Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be looking at Liquid Gen. There is a new exciting kit on the block that is not a new version of Blender or a cool new feature of Blender. This is a totally new standalone fluid simulation software and it's going to sweep the industry. When it comes to liquid simulation, forget about Blender, forget about Mantaflow, and I dare say it, forget about Houdini. Yes, forget about Houdini. Houdini has a very capable fluid solver of its own, so does Blender and Cinema 4D. So why should you forget about them if Liquid Gen just does exactly what the others do, which is fluid simulation? Well, here is your answer. Because Liquid Gen is a real-time fluid simulation system, and their demos are on another level. There was even a live stream event to show the real-time capabilities of the software and it was really really impressive. The level of detail Liquid Gen can achieve is simply out of this world. And if you doubt it, try to simulate water with this level of detail in Blender. First, it's going to take you a few hours to bake, that's if your PC can handle such detail. Because you will have to bump up the simulation resolution divisions to about 400. And I hope it's snowing where you live, because then at least the heat from your computer, trying to bake 400 divisions can warm up your house. Or better yet, put your PC on a wheelbarrow and use it to melt your driveway. Liquid Gen is made by the makers of Embergen, another industry-changing software for real-time smoke simulation. Liquid Gen does nearly everything that Ember Gen does, but substituting smoke with liquid simulations. It can handle accurate real-time mesh collisions like Ember Gen. What is even more impressive is the simulation is accurate for even fast-moving objects. In contrast with Blender, if you have fast-moving collision objects interact with the simulation, they will either not register at all or the simulation will break and you will see particles everywhere if you are lucky. If you're not, the simulation will simply just crash. Liquid Gen is also fully GPU based, so it can take advantage of your GPU hardware to simulate and render the fluids all in real time. They also set up some materials that you could use to preview your fluids. As if real time fluid simulation was not enough, the mesh generation is also real time. Everything from fluid particle simulation and the mesh generation are all done in real time and at a high resolution. Anyone who has done fluid simulation in Blender will really appreciate the level of detail you are achieving with this engine. The mesh generated is 10 times more detailed compared to the Blender version and all this is being done in real time. Other mesh and particles can be exported to other DCCs like Blender and meshes can also be imported in Liquid Gen. So if you have a character running in water, you can just get and make that in Blender and then export it to Liquid Gen and then do all your simulations there and export the fluid simulation back to Blender and integrate it into your scene. Since this is still in its early stages of development, there are no prayer files yet to explore, but uh, you can go to the live stream and see the mind-blowing project demos that were shown in the live stream. I'm hopeful in the future that they release some project demos like they did with Embergen, where they release over 50 VDBs you can import in Blender and test out. And one more thing uh, they have for Liquid Gen is that uh, their simulations is not limited in a domain mesh like you see in Blender or other applications uh, because whenever you're simulating, most times applications have to limit the quantity of fluids by setting up a domain or bounding box or where the simulation is going to take place just to reduce on the computation time. For Liquid Gen, the developers were so confident in their work that they give you the option to turn off the domain so that the fluid is boundless and uh, can be simulated at full scale of your scene, which I think is very, very impressive. Yeah, it's, this is really, really an exciting time and I'm hoping to get my hands on the beta very very soon and this was news that was brought to my attention by my friend at Aiden Web. he's an a blender add-on developer and uh, makes a lot of exciting add-ons i'm sure some of you have used some of his stuff i'm going to leave a link to his uh, youtube channel and uh, his blender market page if you want to check out his content but yeah yeah so if you think this is something you might want to check out uh, make sure to let me know in the comments and uh, yeah 